everybody. I've got a quick little video for you all. This was actually requested uh, by someone named Cardinal's Tune. So, Cardinal's Tune, see, I made this video for you. <laughs> I hope you're watching it, but if you're not watching it, you know, that's fine too. I'm sure eventually you'll watch it. And anyone else that's watching this, hi, I said that already. Okay, let's get to it. Cardinal's Tune wanted to know exactly how I strum um, in my tutorial, specifically the FNAF tutorial. And that's what I'm going to do. So grab your ukuleles, guys, and let me show you exactly what is happening <laughs> when I'm running you guys through all those different strums and stuff. So, so how to explain. When we all start out uh, learning ukulele, we usually learn on one finger, either our thumb or our index finger, right? We're not using our entire hand or all of our fingers. Well, that's what I'm doing. I have been playing for a little bit, only a couple years, maybe three now. Um, but I use my, I'm using my entire hand to make different strums and stuff. Lately in my tutorials, I have really been making an effort to put in the correct, you know, capital letters and stuff, capital D's and, you know, uh, lowercase U's and stuff. Yeah, all those caps and lowercase stuff really matter and I don't know why I didn't make this video sooner, so I'm so sorry guys. But whenever I put a lowercase D on the screen, that, of course, D means down, that means you're strumming down. And the lowercase means I'm just using my index finger. Whenever I'm playing something or making a cover, I like to use my index finger to make soft strums, if that makes sense. So the lowercase d means you're not putting in any accent, you're not strumming really hard. That's what that means. The capital D's means that we're we're making an accent. That means that I personally like to put an accent in that specific spot at that moment in the song, whatever song I'll be playing. I don't use my index finger to create an accent or to create a, a strong downstrom or that capital D. <laughs> I actually use the fingertips on my three extra fingers these three right here. And the best way that I can explain how to do that is, is to imagine that you have a fly or something getting in your face or blocking your view. Like, what do you do when that happens? You're like, use your hand and like, f try to flick it away, right? Or if you have like a piece of lint on your shoulder, on your clothes, whatever, that's the motion that I'm making with my three extra fingers. So that's what those capital D's mean in my tutorials. <laughs> I have trained myself to make my strumming hand kind of like this. Like I'm resting right now, but it's kind of like a strange, um, I don't want to say gun. It's not a gun. It's like, it's like you're pointing your finger at somebody, but you kind of relax it because you don't really want that person to know that you're pointing at them. <laughs> so I kind of came up with this <laughs> Thing for me and it's all for a reason like I said you know I have my index finger to create those soft strums softer strums and I have those three extra fingers ready to flick when I want an accent or a louder thing a louder sound now for example let's take the tutorial I made for uh, join us for a bite now that oh oh my goodness sorry I'm constantly changing and stuff the way I wrote that strumming pattern out is not helping you guys at all because I put all the D's and all of the U's in capital letters and I shouldn't have done that so the correct way that I was accomplishing that strum I'm gonna put it here so what I'm really doing is I'm using my fingertips to create strong accents or capital D's on both the G chord and the C chord. So that sounds like this, two, three, four. Can't wait to meet you. So join the animatronic family. I don't have the lyrics in front of me, but that's what I'm doing. 
Yeah, that's the correct way. That's what I should have done. And I'm sorry, sorry. I really feel that this method of strumming is really beneficial for everybody because it teaches you to use your entire hand and you can get some really interesting, cool sounds by using your fingertips as opposed to using the pad of your, like the, the pad of your fingers. Because you can, you can hear it if you play around. Yeah, I'm just, I'm not putting my fingers down. <laughs> but you'll, you'll notice you get different sounds. Like me just using my thumb. It's a softer sound. And sometimes I want that. Sometimes we want that with our ukulele playing. Other times I'll use my fingertips. And I already hear it. It's brighter. It's stronger. It's, um, you know, the sound is really in your face then. And that's all. That's all I'm doing. <laughs> Let's see. Let's take something more recently, like Meant to Be Yours. I don't know if you guys have seen that tutorial yet, but <laughs> it's the same thing. I'm using my fingertips and I am flicking all of the strings to make a louder sound a more in-your-face sound because the song is aggressive and angry and beautiful but still crazy let's just play a little bit of it again but just use your fingertips try to hold your <laughs> just relax your fingers pretend like you're pointing at somebody and then just relax it like you were holding something and it fell out of your hand and you're like oops so your three extra fingers are back behind, ready to be flicked, and your index finger is always ready. It's just relaxed, pointed, but relaxed, and yeah. So let's try it. One, and forget about the muting and all that stuff. Let's just play just open down strums. One, two, three. You chucked me out. Oh, don't play without your capo. Get your capo. Where is my capo? Oh my goodness. What a mess. <laughs> One, two, three. You chucked me out like I was trash. But you see, do you hear it? It's louder. One more example that I want to play with you guys is a little bit of Five Nights at Freddy's by The Living Tombstone. Yes, that, that is them. Yes. <laughs> All right. I just quickly wrote down the chorus. So uh, keep your capo on the first fret. And it's just an island strum. Let's practice just the island strum. Forget about the lowercase u's and capital d's. Just Let's just play the strum through one more time. One, two, three, four. Down, down, up, up, down, up. Yeah. Just stay on a C minor. We're going to practice this first before we introduce any accents and stuff down down up up down up okay good now with the accent like this <laughs> two three four down up up down up do you hear it pretty cool huh let's practice our accents with the lyrics in this short little <laughs> chorus section here one two Three, four. Please let us get in. Don't lock us away. We're not like what you're thinking. We're poor little souls who have lost all control and we're forced here to take that role. We've been all alone, stuck in. Or just be stuck and defend. After all, you've only got five nights at Freddy's. Yeah, that's all you're getting so far, guys. I I don't have this prepared at all. <laughs> this was just an example. So I don't have a Dropbox link for Five Nights at Freddy's yet. But I will. I will. Don't worry, guys. But yeah, I really, really hope this video answered your question, Cardinal's Tune. I really, really hope I, I did it justice. Let me know if I did answer your question, and if not, 
you know, uh, hopefully I could just answer you in the chat or something because I don't in the chat. Oh my gosh. I just automatically went into zoom mode. Like I was in a zoom meeting. Okay. Anyway, if I didn't answer your question, uh, Cardinal's tune, then just let me know in the comments and then we can comment back and forth. So <laughs> thank you guys for watching this short little video and I will see you. I'll see you later. Yeah. I still have lots of editing to do. Oh no, I'll probably, it'll be all done. Yeah. Okay. Never mind.